Bubbles, is that you? Bubbles. <laughs> How's it going? Where is you? I'm down below you. Oh. You just hear me shooting? I was trying to get your attention. Oh, Bubbles did, but Bubbles was just not paying attention to it. Oh, that's dangerous. Uh, Bubbles is just getting rid of extra 22 ammo and target practicing at the same time. That makes sense. I was kind of, I was watching we... you. Just, you know. Uh, give Bubbles one second. Bubbles will be down there. Okay. Howdy. How's it going? Bubbles is doing good. I didn't realize you moved over here. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Bubbles, we have too much 22 long rifle and not enough flyers to dismantle them, so. Uh, you probably could have sold them, but... Uh... Bubbles is trying to, but... We have... Uh... So... Uh, let Bubbles do some mental math. So if each clump is 50 bullets, up and... We have... We have about 3,000 rounds of 22 long rifle. Jesus. So, Bubbles has gone through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 8, 2. Bubbles has gone through about 16, 30 rounders of ammo. So Bubbles has burned through about 500 rounds. Just shooting it's at the water? It's just a space or... issue. <laughs> yeah, just shooting the water. What the hell's that on your back? Oh, uh, a moon staff. The hell? <laughs> uh, Bubbles got it from... Uh, the people by AB. Um. Uh, the people over by the outpost. Um. Oh. The stag representatives. That's cool. Does it, is it just, you know, does it do anything? Just for looks? Um. Yeah, it's mainly for looks. At least right now. Bubbles might try to do something with it later. Bubbles also has a normal wooden staff that Mishka gave the Bubbles. The new Russian person at the Riders of Portland. I didn't know they were still around, to be honest. Oh, of course they are. Um, Hank took a, a month-long hiatus to the mainland. and But he's back now. Johnny's still floating around. Bubbles doesn't have a lot of ammo. <laughs> There's more. Bubbles is trying to organize all this stuff, and it's the ammo is getting on Bubbles' nerves. I mean, 22 is a good. It's a good round for like infected and stuff, so. You know, you could always use it on But that. no one uses it. Like, Bubbles just uses Bubbles as staff. 
And if Bubbles really needs to, Bubbles has Bubbles' is, you know, M1911. This is a bit too much for Infected. Oh yeah, I just, you know, just like instead of using your pistol bullets or rifle rounds, you know, you just use 22 and you have so much of it. If Bubbles can find an SMG that shoots 22, Bubbles would probably keep it as a backpack gun, but Bubbles can't find one. Hmm. You ever try that 22 pistol? Uh, the, the Mark II. Yeah, the Mark II. It pistol. It's kind of big, but maybe Bubbles might run it instead of this, because this is kind of special for Bubbles. It's also in perfect condition. It's only been fired like 30 times in its entire lifetime. Wow. Like, from, like, from, like, the factory of LNS. There's only been 30 rounds ran through this in total. Like, this is a top, precious, perfect pistol. <laughs> uh, if those 30 rounds weren't people, were they? Uh, 12 of them were infected, and the rest of them, Bubbles was told by the LNS employee that basically they had to test it to make sure it ran so they put a couple mags through it and then the 12 or so rounds were from bubbles oh like a like a break-in period kind of thing yeah this uh it's still not broken in it's the slide still catches sometimes um it sometimes jams but that's just how pistols work when they're not broken in I think that's just a 1911 like, thing, to be honest. That, 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 that might be the, that, that too. Oh, Bubbles didn't realize how cheaper the R700s got. It's tack. Not bad. Wait, do they come with three loaded mags? If that's the case, that is a steal. Yeah, they do, yeah. Oh, the mags are hard to find. Especially the eight round ones. Oh my goodness, the blood donation thing was today. Bubbles for God. I was at the first one that I, I couldn't make today, but... Uh, do you know if it was like... Per bag with the brought supplies is a... Is a bottle of dye, or is it just like in total? No matter how much you bring, it's a bottle of dye. I for what was she asking for us to bring again? I forget. Um, basically the kit. So basically a blood collection kit plus an IV starting unit would get you a, um, like with your blood would get you a, a bottle of dye. Yeah. So you just bring those, um, and she'll give you a. A bottle of dye, but I know I know last time it was like charcoal or something. That was the first one though, so but Yeah, but these eight round runners are not easy to come by. I I think I have two of them. Bubbles is lucky to be able to carry three. Bubbles can carry three in total. But Bubbles is probably going to have to switch rifles because the bear, it's not good against bears. Uh, it could and be, but... It's not good enough. Bubbles... <laughs> it, it, the, bub, the bear will get the bubbles before Bubbles can finish killing it. It's more like in groups it's good, but... Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, bears like to huddle around, uh, what is that, like south, that little island, or that little part of the land over there. Bubbles will sometimes huddle around over by the start of the bridge, too. Yeah, there's a lot of them over there sometimes. Mm-hmm. 
What made you switch to all black? It's more of my, like, hiding gear, you know? Oh! It, bl it blends more in. Yeah. But... Yeah, Bubbles still hears that people don't like Chris, and Bubbles doesn't really understand it, but, you know. Yeah, I mean... It really doesn't make... I don't, I don't know, but... Like, Bubbles would invite you inside Tower, but Bubbles doesn't want to get yelled at for it. Oh, no, so Bubbles I, I... does really do is apologize. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to you. A nice place, though. Like Bob. <laughs> uh, yeah, Leaf. Uh, they did a really good job with. People were complaining about the tower, but Bubbles doesn't understand why. Like the wooden tower we yeah. built. Why is like that an there? elevator? Oh, an elevator. Just like a. Well, cause. If, if this wasn't here, you'd have to climb up to the second floor and then climb the ladder to the to like the third floor up there. Ah. But the tower gives us a quick way and a protective way to go through all of the floors. Yeah, it makes sense. So we don't have the ladder still accessible in like emergencies, but there's no reason to use that ladder. Because let's say if something did happen and we had to defend the tower, being stuck on either the bottom floor or the top floor is not good. Yeah, that's that's a good point. At least, at least with this tower, you can cr crouch run or run from top to bottom pretty quickly. You said uh, Leaf helped you build this. Mm -hmm. Is he still around? I thought he was. Uh, I think he went to the mainland. Damn. Right now, you know, the only people that really leave much is Bubbles and Scarlet, and that doesn't really happen much either. The tower's kind of been, you know, staying inside the tower. I mean, you are part of the Skulk, so, I mean, you know, it's, uh, you're dead. Yep. Uh, is Bubbles doesn't mean to bring up bad feelings, but is Chris allowed at Copper Cove anymore? No. Or I'm, New Copper Cove? I don't know. No. Bubbles doesn't like going there much. Not because of, like, the people. It's just it's a haven for something bad to happen. Yeah, I had my fair share over when it was over there, but... Yeah. Bubbles missed that entire part. Bubbles was gone for about a month, and when Bubbles came back, they moved from there to over there. How about, uh... How about Cornethia? Corinthia? Are you still allowed over there? Yeah, I'm allowed over there. I don't really see him much, though. Um, I, I don't really like going over there, to be honest, but... Bubbles heard bad things about them recently, and Bubbles doesn't really know if it's true or not, but, you know... Like, Bubbles doesn't go to Copper Cove much just because... The T like Bubbles likes the TA. It's just that if there's TA, there's normally trouble. Yeah, they seem fine, but well, the TA is good people. It's just that people don't like the TA that don't that are like like bandits and stuff because TA gets stuff done. To excuse Bubbles, and you know they're good at what they do. Yeah, well, there's a lot of them, so hopefully that will help, but. And Rome likes to go over to Copper Cove a lot, and Rome's kind of in a sticky, like, rumor situation. It's the first I heard about that. Lots of... Oh, yeah. Um, there's a lot of things that 
people people really don't like Rome right right now. Huh. That's weird. Uh, people are people are saying that Rome is kind of stepping stepping over their boundaries and territory, kind of acting like they own the island rather than just being a part of it. I mean, they do keep it in order from time to time. But that's that's what people don't like is that that's kind of like how the U.S. was. Every war had to involve the U.S. is kind of the same here. Every war that happens, the Rome is somehow involved in it. <sighs> and people don't like that, really. Bubbles doesn't have any bad experiences at Rome. But, like, the outpost has bad experiences at Rome. Yeah. Well. And... But the thing is... Bubbles hasn't seen from I. It's all been he said, she said. Bubbles not the skulk is kind of trying to get on neutral grounds with the with Rome. They've At least been, it's more neutral than they are now. They've been trying to do that forever. Yeah, and then. Rome is kind of becoming more and more as the days pass, the more and more bubbles hears bad things about them. But quite the opposite about the Arbiters, it's very weird. Well, I mean, it seems like it seems like the Arbiters are trying to do more good than bad right now, and it seems like Rome is kind of getting a bad look rather than a good look like they used to. Yeah, I, I try to stay out of all that politics stuff, so. Same as Bubbles, but Bubbles ends up getting rubbed into it one way or another. Yeah, nothing really we could do about that anyway, but. So what does Chris do in Chris's downtime now? <sighs> well... Me and Hubbard are actually trying to get some stuff rolling, but we just actually live right over the hill over there. Uh, what does Bubbles have? Bubbles would Bubbles would like to go see. Bubbles knows you live over there, but Bubbles has never actually seen it. Well, you're welcome to come by if you want. Sure. Bubbles doesn't have much on Bubbles. On the way of like valuable things. I can't exactly tell you what we were trying to do, but um, hey, is right. Hubbard trying to start a? a a, a little town again. Not, I mean, well, kinda and kinda not. Bubbles feels bad for Hubbard. Hubbard, Bubbles doesn't, like, Hubbard always gets, Bubbles never had a bad experience with Hubbard, but Hubbard is like the black sheep right now. What do you mean by that? E everyone seems to have a grudge out for Hubbard. Still? Yep. Huh. Kind of the same with Chris. Chris also seems like the black sheep also. Yeah, it's because I'm with Hubbard probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, kind of like how Bubbles gets it, Talon also gets the special treatment and, you know. Uh, don't get me started on Talon. <laughs> Bubbles, uh, okay, Bubbles. Bubbles is going to say something, not about, like, relation-wise, but, like, what Talon has been doing. Okay. It... Chris is okay with that. Bubbles <laughs> doesn't know if you know what's been going on with Talon. Uh, vaguely, I do.
but go ahead if you want. Oh, uh, sorry, Bubbles. Uh, basic. Apparently, Talon has been very, getting feral a little bit. Yeah, I heard that from a couple people. Just don't. The Bubbles just doesn't want Bubbles to be dragged in that deep thing. So, you didn't hear it come from Bubbles. Nope. The last thing Bubbles needs is people hearing that Bubbles is good terms with Chris, and then Bubbles now looks like Bubbles gets a bad rep. Bubbles is not trying to be selfish. Bubbles is just trying to uphold Bubbles' neutrality. I don't blame you. Bubbles suck. It sucks that Bubbles has to look at it like that, but it's the only way that Bubbles can, you know. I've been trying to stay neutral as much as I can, but with Talon around, he's just spreading stuff about me, so. That's the and only reason why I don't like him. Bubbles doesn't mind Talon. Talon wishes Bubbles. Talon wouldn't do that. Or Bubbles wishes Talon wouldn't do that, but it's not Bubbles' decision. Yep, the, the big thing right now is Bubbles feels like Bubbles is a little too neutral when it comes to the Skull. The Skull has the people they like and dislike, but Bubbles is just Bubbles. Bubbles doesn't really have a person they don't like or like well bubbles has people they like more than others but bubbles doesn't dislike anyone hmm. oh this is very yeah well we have big flat. plans for down here but it's starting off small but we're getting there oh there's more Oh my goodness. Oh, so it's like project. Yep. Oh, but then there's that. We have so is it just you and Hubbard? Yeah, currently. It kind of goes together with our big project we're working on, but I can't really say much about it. Is it a business? Um. Oh my goodness, they don't leave Buffles alone! <laughs> There's a bear that direction. Oh, we can go take it out if you want. If you're confident, Bubbles isn't confident, but Bubbles I'm, will do it anyways. I'm plenty confident. Um, in the last week, Bubbles has been attacked by over 20 bears. Jeez. Bears love Bubbles. Bubbles thinks you're trying to get back at Bubbles for her. Bubbles rode a cyber bear, like how people ride bulls. You rode a cyber bear? Yes. What? Bubbles would say, you know to ask Scarlet for proof, but Bubbles knows that that will not happen. She saw it? Well, yeah, Bubbles was with Scarlet when it happened. Also, what's up here? This? Um, I don't know. What is... Bub, what is this? Whoa. It's like a, whoa, this is different. Yeah, this used to be Alter's um, underground base. Oh. But now I think, um, what was that? I'm not, I don't know what... Uh, last Bubbles I know Morgan... Flag. 
Last I know Morgan from, he's living here, but. They seem to have a lot of plans. Yeah. That's the one thing that Bubbles likes about the tower is that it doesn't feel claustrophobic. Even if there's a lot of people that live around here, which there is, it still feels like we have our own personal space. I heard the bear. Oh, there he is. Bubbles can't see it. Oh wow! <laughs> what are you? What weapon are you using? It's a AR-15. It took a down a bear that quickly. Yeah. Oh, Bubbles doesn't know the ritual. Um. Something, something. Uh, <laughs> may this soul be traveled into a uh, new life. Uh something Bubbles doesn't know the oh, thing yet fucked that one up damn what was that? I messed up his uh pout yeah um Scarlet says some chant and Bubbles is trying to replicate it but Bubbles doesn't know what it is because Bubbles never skins animals oh do you want any of the meat? no I'm good you can have it uh, Bubbles should probably learn it. Well, if it's any consolation, um, I was with them for like over a month and uh, I haven't learned it. So. Oh, great. Bubbles likes to make these masks. People don't know that you can make these and Bubbles likes to make them a lot. Oh, Christ. Yep. Huh. It's just a lot of putting bones together. Uh, as for the pelts... Bubbles will make a vest out of it, and then Bubbles could use it for pocket storage. Yeah, there you go. Bubbles is trying to use up more of the animal than Bubbles normally does. Ah, uh, learning from the skull, Cassie. <laughs> but it's just the bones are just too much. I mean, hey, you live right on a pond, you could always go fishing. That's true. Uh, we'll do that. There we go. Do you, do you know Flip? I think he works with the Hive now. Yeah, I know Flip. Bubbles hasn't seen Flip in forever, but Bubbles doesn't want to take that journey up to Waldo. I seen him last night, actually. Oh. Bubbles can mark off another checklist of another bear attacking Bubbles. <laughs> The only thing that Bubbles has not actually, uh, Bubbles was told, you know, Bubbles is going to say it anyways. Bubble, the only thing Bubbles has not been attacked by is one of the sentient mutants. The sentient ones? The one, uh, yeah, there were sentient ones that were controlled by Warlock, apparently. 
You're talking about like alphas like, or? No, like these were the first gen mutants. Like they were, they could jump really high. They, they could speak. They could. They're like the high. They're like the overlords of like the mutant bloodline. Huh. I mean, I knew, I knew that these were a thing, but I never. I didn't know we could still Bubbles see him. To be honest. Uh, Bubbles doesn't really. Bubbles has never really heard of much about him. Now it's just alphas and the, you know, the non-feral ones. A good way to look at it is think they're like alphas. They're like the the, the look and strength of alphas, but they have the intelligence of the sentient. They're like. You know, like for the ones that, um, like Katie, for example. Oh, like the smaller Those... mutants or? No, the bigger ones. They were the big ones, but they were able, but they had the same, you know, brain function as the ones that, you know, walk with us right now today. Huh. Uh, apparently there was a big war and they kind of either died out or disappeared underground or something. So now it's just alphas and the the, the non-feral ones. And the other thing that Bubbles hasn't been attacked by, which Bubbles doesn't want to say because Hubbard, but the the bio wolf, the bio bears. <laughs> Bubbles has been bit or attacked by everything else. Yeah, you might lose your leg if you get one bio bear. Bubbles would rather lose. <clears throat> Bubbles doesn't know if losing a leg or an arm is worse or better. Uh, that's a that's a hard one to pick. They're both so useful. Uh, but that's the tower. We plan on building kind of like a living quarters off on the side. Oh, okay. But if you look at the second from last floor, like, like so underneath the top part, Bubbles has a tent. You, you have a tent, huh? Yep. Oh, I see it. Bubble, yeah, Bubbles and Scarlet lives in one of those military tents. Huh. Bubbles still kind of feels bad, but everyone agreed with it. <laughs> you, you suggested that you live in a tent? Well, no. They they suggested that Bubbles lives in a tent. No one wanted it. Bubbles asked, like, like you sure you don't want to live in the tent? And everyone was like, no, Bubbles lives in the tent. So, Bubbles <laughs> lives in the tent. Do you know what made him move down from Waterboro? Uh, apparently one of the one of the reasons that Bubbles does is that this place just opened up, like all the old walls decayed, and they just hopped on it as soon as possible. Because the old Alchemy Society used to live here, and the walls finally started caving in because no one lived there anymore, and. Uh, one of the Skulk members found it at like the perfect time right as it was starting to crumble so they just without any hesitation took it over I was I was worried they started moving in right when kind of hover or copper creek was kind of like in the process of moving and I didn't know if they were trying to move down here to be close to them and I felt bad that they were moving but I think that was mainly a coincidence. Bubbles doesn't know if that had any influence. It might have just been like a plus one, like, oh, Copper Creek's nearby. But... I mean, Bubbles would this... hate if the tower went, you know, no one. Yeah, I mean, regardless, so it looks it's a really good, nice. good area. Bubbles wishes the water was deeper. I mean, that's both a good and a bad thing. 
because it, it's deep. You can just walk throughout the entire thing. So you can't like jump from the top of the tower and dive into the water because you'll it's not deep enough. I mean, if if it was deep and you'd have to swim, then um, you're kind of stuck to one way in, one way out. But now you have... Yeah, it's kind of a double-edged sword. But yeah. that also means that it would be fun to jump off the top of the tower. That would be fun, but that would hurt. Oh, uh, we have a plan for... Uh... This is a better view of it. We, 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 we're trying to build maybe that little platform as a living quarters, but it's slanted, so Bubbles doesn't know how we're going to do that. Because huh. it's wasted space right now. Besides the fact that Bubbles goes up there to practice shooting, there's nothing else that really gets used for it. Is it going to be more of like an open plan kind of thing, or...? Uh, at first, Scarlet wanted to put two of those three towers, the three-story buildings up there, but Bubble said that those wouldn't fit. So we might try to squeeze two of the ones, the buildings that you're living in, up there. It's just that we would have to basically build risers to even out the building. Yeah, that's true. Which, uh, excuse bubbles, <laughs> which wouldn't be that bad. The tower is, there's a lot of space, but not a lot of space, because all the industrial concrete making stuff that was originally a part of the tower, you can't get rid of, because it's all dried up and stuff. And I, Bubbles doesn't know about you, but Bubbles doesn't want to chisel through 30 to 40,000 tons of concrete that's been dried and all that metal. Bubbles really doesn't want to do that. Um, so we're just kind of building around it. It's becoming, it, it's getting somewhere. Like, uh, we plan on building a little shop at that second story. Oh, okay. How many of it, Which, how many of you are in the skulk currently? Uh, enough to start doing paperwork. Bubbles yeah. isn't the exact amount, but yeah, enough that you know we can be recognized as the skulk and not just have to say we are. Who's all still around? Unless that's... Um, Bubbles forgets who was originally a part of it. Um, yeah, me... Uh, well, that doesn't count, I guess. Um, is Daria still there? Bubbles doesn't think so. Bubbles doesn't know. Huh. And I heard on the radio some person named Smoke. Uh, yeah. But this, but uh, then there's Scarlet, of course. Yeah. And a couple of other ones that Bubbles hasn't met yet. Which, Bubbles, Bubbles wanted to continue, like, Bubbles is still doing tailoring. It's just that Bubbles isn't kind of commercial tailoring much anymore. Because cause apparently everyone now wanted to do tailoring after they realized that it was a dead market. And maybe Bubbles just wasn't capable of capitalizing on it capitalizing it as much as other people are. For example, Leather Daddies, which Bubbles has no gripe against the co-op because Bubbles lived there. That Bubbles has been friends with the professor and Ed for months now. 
Bubbles is happy that they actually made tailoring a successful profession. It just makes Bubbles a little upset that Bubbles couldn't do it. Like in the months that Bubbles was a tailor, they have surpassed Bubbles in like a week. Maybe in recipes, but Bubbles doesn't think in the matter of tail. Bubbles still thinks Bubbles is a bit better in the skill-wise than they are, but... Like, Bubbles is still the only person that knows how to make dragon plushies. Yeah, there you go. Start selling those. <laughs> It's so hard to make them, and they also take so much thread. Thread is a pain to get now. Because before you could just take out, you know, you you could you could you could um, savage or salvage thread from like a hundred articles of clothing with one sewing kit, but now you can only get two pieces of clothes per sewing kit. Really? What happened with because that? Because the seasons are changing, so the thread's getting tougher, so it's causing more damage and tear on the sewing kits. Makes sense. Like, uh... Like, before we started coming into, like, the spring-summer era, before then, the thread was very... I wouldn't say fresh, but it was like it was very easy to you to mingle. But now, with all the rain and stuff, they're kind of it's starting to rehydrate and become a lot tougher. So now it's more it's a lot harder to get thread out of clothes. So it makes tailoring a lot more expensive. Like now, bubble you know bubbles used to charge. What, 10 nails, 15 nails for a patch? Yeah. About then? Uh, now the market's a, a stack. Jesus. Or a box of nails for a patch. <laughs> yeah. Which Bubbles doesn't agree with. But that's what the Skulk sells their patches at, and people are buying them. Like, we have an order for, like, 14 patches. So, I mean, people still want them at that price. Huh. But everyone seems to know how to make them, apparently. Because people can't keep their mouth shut over the radio. Yeah. Well. <laughs> like, the, like the patches, like the, or not the patches, the pouches. Uh, elusive ass bubbles, personally, on how to, like, color his vest pouches but everyone and their mother chimed in and just started screaming you you know oh you use a you use spray paint to do it like people don't know that and also it's not that easy you know you have to prep the surfaces you have to clean the surfaces you have to tape off the parts you don't need to paint on like if you have a velcro patch that velcro if you pray spray paint it, it will ruin and then the pouch becomes useless because now they can't hold anything. Yeah, and a lot of it's just people being lazy and don't want to make it, so that's why they'll still buy it. Or they just don't have the talent to. You know, not everyone can sew a patch. Not everyone can... For example... Yeah, Bubbles, Bubbles may know the recipe on how to make a... Bubbles knows the recipe on how to make a, the flower, the uh, large, like, um, Planter. flower beds, but Bubbles doesn't have the talent to. Well, that's just more of like, you know, putting four planks together and just nailing them together and all that, but that's a little Bubbles more straightforward. Bubbles not a carpenter. It's a lot easier said than done. It's kind of the same thing with the tailoring. Yeah, you just intertwine fabric together, but you know it's not that easy. Well, that, I, I would say that's harder than just hammering nails and, on a wood board, you know. See, because what Bubbles does differently, Bubbles doesn't mind telling Chris. What Bubbles does differently is Bubbles inserts a piece of sheet metal 
into each patch to make them more stiffer and durable. Oh. And then bubbles will tailor around that, sometimes even intertwining the thread into the little piece of metal so, you know, it, th it doesn't just slide off or whatever. Bubbles doesn't know if other tailors do that. I assume they try to make it as easy and quick as possible and just try to sell it. They don't really care about the quality. Bubbles puts love in the things that Bubbles makes. Yeah, so quality over quantity. And, like, for uh, Bubbles got Bubbles' first staff, the wooden staff from Mishka for repairing all of his clothes from destroy, like, from the, they're just not wearable. Bubbles got a staff out of it. Yeah, there you go. Well, Bubbles does wish the best of you two, because you two really need it. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh. Like Bubbles said before, you know, other people may look at you differently, but you're still Bubbles' friend. Bubbles doesn't care what faction Bubbles is in, Bubbles is still gonna, you know, not switch up just because Bubbles is told to. Uh, well, actually, that leads me... Who... I don't know. You you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but, like, who's been saying stuff? Like, what do you mean? Oh, you made it sound like people were telling you stuff about either me or Hubbard, so... Oh, it's just radio. People on the radio. If it, either it's Talon, or it's a no-named people, or whatever. Bubbles just hears it all over the radio. And, you know, like, Scarlet voices her opinion on the matter. But it doesn't change what Bubbles thinks. Yeah, yeah. Bubbles will respect your decision. Like, for example, if they don't want Chris inside the tower, Bubbles isn't going to just disobey rules. But Bubbles is not going to be like... Bubbles is not going to fake disliking Chris just for the satisfaction of other people. Is what Bubbles is trying to say. They told you not to let me in. <laughs> well, it's well, it's not that Bubbles just knows that they don't really like you. Yeah. That's... And if Bubbles let them inside or let you inside, Bubbles will get, you know, scolded about it. No, I don't blame you. Even if you did, I probably wouldn't enter. I wouldn't want to get you in trouble. So. And Bubbles doesn't want you to be more hated than you already know. Or now. No, I might get shot and killed if I go in there. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Uh, Bubbles doesn't think anyone's awake right now. But all it takes is someone to wake up and, you know. Yeah, you full on know that if you go in there, someone's gonna wake up and be like, shit. Yep. Uh, it's very, it's actually pretty echoey up in the top, in like that, the glass encased area. It echoes quite a bit. And that's where most people rest, is up there. Also, Chunkers is still alive and healthy. Well, I don't know about healthy, but well fed. Do you, do you still need peanut butter for, uh... Bubbles will always take peanut butter. Bubbles I... will, never take, will never say no. I have like four jars of it sitting around. Ooh. Uh, Bubbles has a dumb question. <sighs> sure. Do you talk to the LNS people at all? No, I haven't talked to them since Jack went missing. So is he missing, or did he leave on his own terms? Uh, it's more like he left, but no one knows where he went. They haven't heard from him either. Apparently, they're going through the three stages of grief again. They're now, you know... They have a new rep, but they're still very small. Apparently, it's very empty by Elkridge again. Yeah, I mean, they're... 
there were some people that came by Copper Creek and that were from the ULF, and I was like, look, it's it's probably going to happen again. I was there, <laughs> you know. Um, it's cursed. Bubbles doesn't care what anyone says. That that place is cursed. It really is. No matter what you seem to do, that place always just ends up being something. Well, I, I mean, Bubbles wishes the best for Paige. But it's a lot to go deal with. Like they, like um, uh, so what's his name? Shifty. Do you remember him? Oh yeah, Shifty. Used to, yeah, used to be Lenny's like right hand man for a bit. Yeah. Apparently, he bought a bunch of 50 BMG from them. Uh, I think a hundred rounds for 250 nails. I but it was, about that. but it was. Yeah, but it was Jack's deal, and then Paige just kind of has to try to deal with that. And Shifty, he's not the calmest or rational person. I think they all moved over to T8, which Bubbles is fine with. Bubbles thinks they belong there. Too tactical for Bubbles, but someone needs to do it. Yeah, well... I hope the best for him. Maybe, maybe things will look up at Elkridge again. Maybe it was just Jack. Who knows? Um, I'm Bubbles. Heard here's a couple names like Nomad. I think Daniel's still there. Carl's still there. I heard. I love Carl. <laughs> uh, Bubbles doesn't remember Carl. Bubbles would have to beat Carl to remember Carl. I don't remember if you've seen him a lot when you were down there. Maybe maybe a little bit. And uh, is Mace still there? I haven't heard from him in a while. I don't think he is. Hmm. And then there's Paige. Bubbles wonders what it looks like now. If it's, or if it's even changed at all. It changed a little bit. They're working on something down there, but I don't know what it is. I haven't really went and looked. Yeah, and like if if Hubbard ever does try to kind of make us like a community again, Bubbles wishes the best for him because he gets <laughs> shut down every single time. Yeah, uh, it's more of like a, it, I can't really say much again, but I mean, it's going to be more of a smaller one, if anything. Kind of more like what the Skulk has going on. Yeah, yeah. Which, that's perfectly fine. It, it, and Bubble thinks it's probably better for Hubbard. Hubbard doesn't see him, like Bubbles doesn't mean anything bad but I don't think Bubbles doesn't think Hubbard could actually run a community like that size uh, he tried it with Copper Creek and got overwhelmed with it so he left oh yeah Bubbles forgot that Hubbard was a part of Copper Creek it was oh technically it was New Liberty or Novus Libertas or whatever it was. oh yeah Bubbles remembers because they came down to um, when Bubbles lived in Mountainville yeah, that was them. Which Bubbles needs to go back up there, because apparently the people that overthrew Bubbles left. Ah, oh, that, that, like, um... What were their names? Like, Sam and them? The small... The small group of four crazy, obsessed people. Yeah, they lived in that... base, or, like, that compound right next to... Yeah, uh, a couple of weeks ago, the two wanders, they're kind of, they're kind of like older, like British, uh, oh, yeah. like Violet, May, and Violet John, Lee. whatever. Mm. Violet Lee, Jadrin. yeah, and then, uh, Jadrin, yeah. They told Bubbles that it's starting to break apart, and that was a couple of weeks ago, so it's probably been swept clean by the outpost, because they just lived you know, 
500 meters west of Mountainville. But yeah, they 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 were they were very they they were weird. Yeah, they seemed kind of weird. They kept they kept talking to bubbles like bubbles was like a religious like entity rather than a person. <laughs> And then um, Greenleaf fell apart. That was I. I liked Greenleaf to be honest. But... Oh, wasn't that wasn't that the wasn't that the well Bubbles remembers meeting the the quote unquote president of them. So it was Green. Yeah, it was Greenleaf. Bubbles remembers thought it was Green Arrow. Because <laughs> Bubbles was talking to Scarlet about because we we went through Cushville and Bubbles thought maybe there was still a town there, but it was just desolate. Well, they... Bubbles know they moved up to Old Sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. Or the Navy base, whatever they call it. But I'm guessing they didn't make it. They they moved there for a little bit, and then they kind of just... I don't know what happened to them, to be honest. Um, is Vincent still living down there? Or up there? Uh, maybe. I know he's been with uh, the Riders a lot recently, but... I mean, they live, like, they're neighbors. Yeah, and him and Jess are a thing and all that, so. They still are? I think. that could, I could be wrong, but I think they still are. Bubbles hasn't heard from Finn's or Jess in forever. And last time Bubbles met them, well, met Vince and Jess at the same time, was at the party that Bubbles got yelled at for no reason. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Like, not 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 much makes. Okay, bubbles. Okay, bubbles has to ask. What is the reason why Hannah calls herself Minerva? It's it was like you know what like the the Legion and stuff like that with Rome. They all get their special names, you know, for being a part of them. Like bubbles wants to just call Minerva Hannah, but bubbles doesn't know what bubbles is allowed to. Well. I'm I'm sure you are. I know she does prefer Minerva because you know she earned that name, so she likes being called Minerva. But I don't think Hannah would bother her. Well, last time Bubbles called Bubble, or last time Bubbles called Hannah Hannah, did she didn't really say much, like anything bad or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I just know she prefers Minerva. Does Nick still go by Nick, or does Nick have a new a new name too? Um, it's uh, when it when it's war when it something. I I'll probably butcher that. But... Okay, <laughs> bubbles is just, bubbles is just as good as both say what bubbles knows. Bubbles it's, doesn't. <laughs> it's not Venator. <laughs> it's uh, with a W. Bubbles. Until they say something to Bubbles, Bubbles will probably just keep calling them by their names. Not out of disrespect or anything, that's just what Bubbles knows. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he only knows me from the OLF, and that wasn't the pleasant exchange we had down there. <laughs> Did they contact you after what happened that one time? You know, Bubbles doesn't want to bring that up, but you know exactly what Bubbles is talking about. I was just about to say that, actually. Uh, with uh, Astro and... That guy's name. Mm -hmm. No, they didn't really say much after that about it. But that's kind of scary because they know I was there with that. So I don't know. Either they just wanted to drop it or they just really don't care. That's the only way that Bubbles can really make sense of it. Yeah, I mean, it was more like I was caught up in the bad situation, but... So I don't think they really, I mean, they, they killed the guy. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's in the past, I guess. Bubbles just hopes that, you know, you and, uh, Hubbard doesn't, cause you two don't have the best reputations with people, which is something on its own. Bubbles just hopes that you guys are able to, you know, either move past it or don't let it consume whatever you're trying to do. 
Yeah, I try not to let it get to me, but it, it's it it is hard because like anywhere you go, it's like do people like you? Do people just not want you around or anything? So. And Bubbles doesn't want you to pull a Lenny and just disappear off the face of the earth and start making smart ass remarks over the radio. <laughs> I, I was close to just leaving, to be honest. But, no, I, I mean, I like it here. I have people I, I like, so. As Bubbles thinks that you can come back from what, you know, you can change things. Now, it's going to take a very long time and a lot of dedication to try to fix things up with Copper Cove, if you try to. <laughs> yeah, all that, it just because of Talon, kind of sucks, but... It's, well, it's, Bubbles understands because people would do the same for Bubbles. If someone was like, if they, if they heard that someone was bullying, because that's what Bubbles has heard. If Bubbles was told, if Bubbles was told that, if Bubbles told someone that someone was bullying Bubbles, everyone would begin to hate that person. At least most people would. Yeah. So from that standpoint, him. Bubbles understands. Yeah. Yeah, possibly. But... It bubbles doesn't think that's fair to the other person. To not even hear the other side, just go with one side. Yeah. Because as bubbles likes Talon, but having that amount of blind support is very dangerous. Because Talon could just make up rumors about someone that both Talon doesn't like, and then just have them exiled and shunned. That's why I'm scared to be honest I feel like we're and Talon especially now because Talon is buddies with the TA and the TA doesn't really fuck around much well I got detained by them the other day <laughs> and it went good so that's good but well, Bubbles has fair. yet to be oh you can get uh, to be fair, it wasn't. It was more of just a protocol from them. I mean, I was in the area that their friend got shot in, so they were just kind of taking precautions and making sure I wasn't the one that shot him. But that's how that went. Yeah, Bubbles has uh, the first time Bubbles met the TA, they executed a cannibal, so that was something. And there's someone that doesn't like the TA because their posters keep getting vandalized. Which, uh, Bubbles gets that, you know, propaganda is a very trivial thing. But, but vandalizing it just shows that you really dislike them. Well, I, I don't think it's the Arbiters, so I don't know who it would be then. Uh... The TA doesn't like... What's a good way to describe the TA? They're kind of like... They're mercenaries, but they're not paid mercenaries. At least Bubbles doesn't think they are. Bubbles doesn't know if you can buy them or not. Well, from what I know, they didn't really... P Copper Creek didn't really pay them to help out. They just kind of helped out. Uh, but we'll see that's what the TA is. TAs are basically kind of... They consider themselves kind of like overseers. You know, like, that kind of sounds very, like, um, hierarchy isk You know, like, looking over everything. But they're just like, you know, if... If someone follows the same views as you, if they do, and they need help, you know, they're going to help them. Bubbles doesn't know if they like mutants, because a lot of people don't like mutants. And Bubbles still, Bubbles will never understand why they don't like them. I think the TA has a couple mutants with them, if I'm not mistaken. 
Bubbles here is a lot of racism about mutants. Yeah. It's... I'm kind of in the middle on that one. Uh, Bubbles hasn't had any bad experiences with them. Alphas are just, they don't, they're doing, you know, primal instincts. Can't really blame them for defending their nests. And the sentient ones, I mean, they seem to just function like normal people. They have choices. They're not like brainwashed into doing bad or to doing good. Yeah, and a stray bad one or two, you know, you, you can't let that do their whole race, so. And Bubbles, does, and Bubbles says it about people with cybernetics. What about the people that have, because there's a, there's a person or two that are like 90% robot. Like, they don't have a heart. They run off of battery packs, and they have an entire exosuit so they can move. I mean, they aren't really people anymore. They're not humans, really. Well, most people that have cybernetics don't have a heart anymore. They have a core. So yeah. Oh. So would you? So would then those those people can be considered, you know, like cyborgs now, because they don't have. Like they like. You can try and see what Bubbles is saying. Yeah. Like, how can you look at someone who has a battery for a heart, the same as, hum like full on blood humans but can't see just mutated humans as not humans That's... Bowles thinks that mutants are kind of more human than people without hearts that is true yeah you make a good point and and people get mad at Bubbles when Bubbles says that they always just say it's not the same well it is the same well I mean it's both both sides is a choice to become you know a cyborg or you know a mutant so they were both once human so and I, I would I would say uh, someone that has a core for a heart is more human that sounds wrong but you know it's maybe you know and you know everyone's welcome to their own opinion and bubbles is not gonna like say that your opinion doesn't matter because it does I mean like what makes you a human though i'm sure it's not your heart you know it has to be something bigger than that Bubble, well bubbles looks at not really a human but bubbles makes you a living creature based off soul yeah the soul. but what makes you a human would probably be hmm be your body wouldn't it Your vessel? <laughs> well, technically, you're less human the more you change yourself. Like, physically. But mentally, it would probably just be... No, you can't say, like, ideologies, because that would be... One, one person thinks differently would make them less human than another. Bubbles, like, for example, I mean, Hitler was a very bad person, but he's not less human than anyone else. In the grand, like, if, in a technical standpoint. So Bubbles doesn't really know what makes a human a human. Mentally, not physically. Because physically it's about DNA and stuff, but mentally, Bubbles doesn't know. That's a question that Bubbles has to think about. Well, I, I would go with the soul, but then that would mean everyone here is a human. Animals soul. are souls. Yeah. You well, know, that makes... and that's why that's why Bo that's why Bubbles didn't. That's why Bubbles says what makes like a living thing and like a living thing is the soul. Like the infected are probably are basically soulless creatures in Bubbles' eyes. That's how Bubbles is able to. Um, discard them without feeling bad. I would say conscience, but you know, animals have those as well, so. So we think. It could be how. No, that. Weird question. 
Because the soul can work both ways. The soul could be the reason why you're a human. But, but if the soul gets, you know, at that, it's... Okay, the soul is, a, is the right answer. It just depends on how people think. Some people don't believe in souls. Some people don't believe any of that. I kind of just a person makes a person based on what the person believes. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Well, if a person thinks it's, you know, like having a heart and a, you know, and a brain, and you know, is just a hundred percent a human. That's why people don't like mutants, you know, because those same people don't look at mutants as humans because they're not, you know, 100% what we are. Yeah, my brain just went... And if, <laughs> and if someone doesn't, you know, believe in souls, or if someone does believe in souls but only believes that, like, there's like I don't know, but uh, a soul like a soul is different between a human and an animal than a human soul would be the definition of a human. And then there's people like Scarlet and Bubbles where a soul is a soul doesn't matter what body it's in, you know it's you. So the identity, the you know what makes a human a human is not really. Bubbles hasn't really thought of what kind of makes it in our, you know, methodology. Maybe it's the brain. Maybe it's that. It's just a hard debate because you have, you know, animals that have all of what humans have, so. Well, a, a bear's going to think like a bear. A moose is gonna think like a moose. It's harder to, to it's harder to discuss humans because humans have such complex think thought processes, and has so much, you know, consciousness, that it's a lot harder to pinpoint what makes a human a human. <laughs> Does it mean the skulk is a human or a f animal? Because they're foxes. Well. <laughs> That go well, that goes with the person. Do you feel rather like, for example? Today? <laughs> well, bubbles will always say bubbles as bubbles. Bubbles will always feel like bubbles. Bubbles could wear anything or believe anything, <laughs> but bubbles would just be bubbles. But you know, someone on the other hand, like Talon, could believe that Talon is you know something else rather than a person. And Bubbles believes that Talon does feel like Bub Talon is something else rather than a person. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. Now, Bubbles will, Bubbles will never say that in front of Talon's face. <laughs> Bubbles doesn't know how they will take it. Yeah, no, don't. After, no, don't, no. Just stay away Especially from with the whole mother stuff, Bubbles would never do that. But that is, you know, it just it helps the example. Which is okay to think you're something, you know, like, for example, like someone from the Skulk thinking they're, like, a complete fox. You know, that's that's okay. Bubbles has seen many things, and there's definitely things that are a lot different. Bubbles is going to say weirder, but that's not a right term to put it. Bubbles has definitely seen a lot more different things. Yeah, like people meowing over the radio. That's Bubbles. Hey. <laughs> I just, you know, I had to throw that one out there. <laughs> oh god, I feel you. I feel you brewing one up. Yeah, Bubbles doesn't really want to meow over the radio anymore. People don't, people don't like it. Ah, uh, yeah. Bubbles thought it was funny, but I guess <laughs> people really don't like it. Yeah. 
I don't, I don't know why, but you know, it's you know. It is what it is, and that's how Bubbles lives. <laughs> well, Bubbles hasn't got any death threats recently. That's good. You got them before? Oh yeah. Do you not re do you not remember? No, I don't remember. Bubbles got threatened to get blood eagled before, to get drowned in Bubbles' own blood, oh, to yeah. be cooked into a soup and stuff. Yeah, Bubble, Bubbles used to get a lot of death threats. I'm surprised I haven't gone yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Knock on wood. Uh, I wouldn't say it hasn't happened. Huh? Bubbles is on the radio constantly. Bubbles has seen here, sir. He's, he's heard okay. a lot of things. Now you gotta tell me. Uh, a no named person. Uh, after. Uh, there was a discussion about you. I think it was about what happened between you and Talon. Yeah, but there was someone who said that, you know, they would like. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah, it was just like. It was kind of just plain and simple that the person said that they would kill anyone who, like, hurts Talon or makes fun of Talon. Oh yeah, I think so. I it wasn't that. directly it wasn't directly towards you, but you know it's the same thing for Bubbles, like But I think but Bubbles thinks Talon is a bit more blindly loved than Bubbles is. Because Talon is definitely a lot more different than what Bubbles is. And being different, and it sometimes mean being more cared for, and Bubbles hates that. Yeah, I, I won't speak much on that. But... Like, Bubbles, again, is not making fun or throwing shade or bashing Talon, because Talon is, Talon can't control what Talon, you know, is mentally. Or physically. <laughs> but it's just the people around. It's the other people that... Because, well, the world has been based off that. People with mental problems have always been looked at as they need a, they can't be on their own. And they always, they always need someone to protect them. True. And because of that, people are... People, especially now because they're... A lot of people like that have died out because, you know, they really couldn't defend themselves. But in, the, in today's world, this has been going on for, what, four years now? Yeah, give or take. Bubbles thinks everyone should be looked at the same. Everyone can defend themselves. Everyone is able to keep up their old hold. Like, if they've been around for this long, they are able to, you know... defend themselves basically which people would disagree with bubbles which is okay but this could be this could be a good thing but bubbles is thinking people forget where what what is on like what is going on you know people i think people bubbles thinks that people forget that you know, this <laughs> this is not a world that what it used to be. No, not at all. There is no like there is no laws, there is nothing, there is there is the soulless running around. There are people who get murdered every day and other things. Bubbles thinks people are kind of worrying about the wrong thing. You know, that actually leads me to a, something I wanted to always talk to someone about, actually. I I noticed when I first arrived on the island... Oh, good point. Um, everyone was doing just this, you know? They were, like, sitting by a fire, you know, chatting, you know, surviving. And uh, I guess now it just kind of feels like everyone's just hiding um you know they it's always just about war you know fighting against each other but 
never really enough of this, if you get me. Bubbles, it's just the cycle of greed. It's the cycle of man. History repeats itself. There be a time where everything's peaceful, the economy's doing good, everyone's, you know, kind of in a good state of mind. People aren't dying. There's not battles raging over the radio and, you know, hate's not being spread everywhere. Or at least not as much. But it always comes around. There's always someone at someone's throat now. Based, it's, you know, it's just how it is. Partially and it's the factions that cause it. It's always a faction against a faction most of the time. Yeah, that's true. But it's just how, but it's how people, you know, see themselves. It's kind of the only way you can really have a family without, you know, making a family. Which, Bubbles knows there's other people around the world. But, at some point, Bubbles thinks is that the island is eventually going to consume itself. Kind of like what happened, how this all started. Man, it was gonna, it's just going to be greed versus greed. And it's just going to be too much with all the technology that's been advancing and stuff like cybernetics and, you know, all that stuff. When does it come a time where we put that technology into the wrong hands, like what happened with Warlock? Now, now Warlock had Bubbles has never met them. Of course, but you know everyone has reasons. Yeah. But all it takes is another warlock, and what happens to everyone? What happens to everything we've built? Hmm. And Bubbles is happy that, well, in Bubbles' eyes, Bubbles is happy that Doctor Warwick is, you know, doing things for mostly good. Of course, you know, there's some things that people won't see as nice or as good. Like, cybernetics might be looked at as a taboo to some people. Religious reasons and such. But, there's another way to look at it, is it might just be for greed, too. Why aren't we putting that technology and stuff to trying to eradicate the infected and to try to make a new world? But to make it work, but make it into a a private service that you can have if you're fortunate to lose a limb. You get what Bubbles is saying? Yeah, I get you. Like, with the whole Devil's Eye stuff, all the ruins, or the runes, and the mutants and shipping containers. Which they're not there because of, you know, people trapping them. You know, they're always in military containers, and that's not a coincidence. <laughs> it's a far stretch, but Bubbles thinks the companies are keeping us at our throats and keeping us not not evolving too much as a civilized group of people because if we if we joined together and got rid of all the infected on the island and banded as one i mean who would buy from the companies anymore What would be the need for mass, you know, production of ammo? True. Bubbles thinks that the companies purposely make a make it where 
the world's like this so they can test their products and then either sell them to mainlanders as free proof that they work because there's probably a, there's probably a place on the mainland that's hidden away in mountains or a oh, very empty part of the world that's back to what the world was before I mean, if we're able to make cybernetics, what does that mean for larger groups of scientists and stuff? I have no it's idea. It's a bit of a stretch. Yeah. But don't you don't you think that no matter how much you kill, there's always this, they're, they're always come back. Bubbles thinks that the companies put them. They, 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 they bring the infected over. No, I mean, it's like, it's pretty far off mainland. Not really that far, but far enough to, there's no way they're swimming across. No way. I mean, even if they did, I mean, there's probably still, like, sea life. Possibly. Mm. I mean, there's still bears and deer and stuff. Bubbles has never really been inside the ocean. But Bubbles is sure there's still sharks and fish. I mean, there's still fish. Wait, there's still sharks? Because Copper Cove has a has a hammerhead shark hanging from on top of their building. Yeah, they must have got that out farther in the ocean. I saw some, like, big fish still. Not just sharks, but... Bubbles doesn't know what, like, the ideology for, like, what Bubbles has. Like, the government is purposely making us weaker for their... to exploit us for their gain. There's a word for it. Bubbles doesn't know what it is. You know, it's kind of like we're all slaves, you know, we're, we're, we're... <laughs> Speaking of slaves, Stag has slaves on the mainland. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past them. It's been confirmed, and Bubbles, you know, Bubbles gets it, I guess. I mean, they mostly enslave mutants because they're hard, they're hard workers that require low maintenance. Now, to most people, they think that's okay, because they don't see mutants as people. But to the people that do, I mean, it's still enslaving a person with a conscience. Yeah. Bubbles really doesn't like the companies, but Bubbles can't blame the, rep the representatives, because they have to live, too. They might live a little nicer, but they're not living in luxury. They still have to go through some of the things that we do. They're not always eating caviar and, you know, whatever else rich people eat. So Bubbles doesn't blame the rep reps. They're just trying to make money, yeah. you know. You need and Bubbles is trying to collect all like the lighters from the companies just because it gives Bubbles something to look forward to. Like Bubbles has a button from a button and a lighter from Espen and Stag. Bubbles just needs to get in contact with Paige to try to get a lighter and a pin. If you don't know the companies have little knickknacks. Yeah, I have a I have an Espen lighter. It's cool. A little Zippo. It, and Bubbles doesn't know if there's any other actual Zippos. So. I know LNS has one. Bubbles is trying to get one. Bubbles is good. Huh. Bubbles carries the stag one just because... Uh, it was just the one that Bubbles got recently. 
Also, speaking of, have you seen a bullet hammer? A bullet hammer? It's a little hammer that you put bullets in, and you smack it on the ground, and it disassembles the bullet. Like, it separates the bullet tip and the gunpowder and the casing. I have not seen one of those. Have you heard about it? No, that was the first time, actually. Bubbles keeps hearing about him, but Bubbles has never actually seen one. Well, because they're very, very useful. Because instead of using pliers to take apart your round, your bullets, and, you know, pliers are kind of hard to get, you just use the bullet hammer. Since it's designed to do that, it'll last a lot longer than pliers does. Huh. Yep. Well, it's getting nighttime, so I might take my leave here. Yeah, Bubbles is probably going to get back to organizing. Actually, Bubbles is going to shoot a little bit more ammo, and then Bubbles will <laughs> get back to organizing. All right. Well, it was good trying uh, um, with you, so... And if Bubbles, Bubbles would... Or next time, Bubbles will leave the tower to go be with Chris, rather than Chris risking Chris's life to come to the tower. Yeah, it was, I was passing by and I heard shooting, so I was like taking a look and looked up, saw someone up there, didn't know it was you until you said something on the radio. Um, You're not far away, so Bubbles would just go down there. Yeah, I'll just for the safety around. of both of us. Just uh, Scarlet and Skull knows Bubbles' relationship with Chris. They just wish to be separate from it. So Bubbles is not going to get any in trouble talking with Chris. It's just that Bubbles doesn't want you to get in trouble. Hmm. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay. Well, Bubbles enjoyed, Bubbles likes having conversations like that. Yeah, me too. It's been a while since I did that, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. be safe and, um, yeah, be safe. Yep, you too.